I can clearly tell where this is gonna go afterwards. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, she has a clone? How's that possible? What are you doing? Eating a taco from Taco Bell. Judging by the way you look, of course you can't be eating that kind of stuff. You really shouldn't be eating that. I shouldn't feel my body because why? This has nothing to do with filling your body up, okay? This has nothing to do with what you're doing to yourself, okay? You're eating garbage. And because you're fat, of course I'm going to be saying this to you. Hey, Emma, you should be like most, like, uh, letting go of that kind of stuff and focus more on better things. But instead, you decide to, like, make a TikTok video about, hey, uh, I just want to find some acceptance because of the way I am at the moment. This isn't about love, okay? This is about how you're putting your body through a lot of problems at the moment. People are being ignoring this, you know? They're ignoring this kind of reality. It sucks a lot, you know? It's just not good for your health. Okay, so what? You see all these other thin people eating the exact- Oh my god, she's playing this victim mentality where there's like skinny people that are mostly not targeted, but whenever there's a fat person, they're targeted. She's playing this mentality where I'm just um, uh, targeted because of the way I look. But you know, it's not just that. You're destroying your own body here. Of course people will say this kind of stuff to you. Same thing I am, yet you're targeting me? Well, yeah, because they're thin. They don't need to be told anything. The problem with this video is that there's this thing where promoting obesity and promoting a very unhealthy lifestyle is normalized by people who are just want to find acceptance. Well, never this fat acceptance. The kind of thing I hate to see from this is that people want to find acceptance. People want to find love because of the way they look. And the problem with this kind of uh, thing itself is that when you see fat people who is like fat, obese not taking care of themselves properly and it's just trying to spread a message about love and acceptance when you cannot go to the gym you can't go for a walk you cannot exercise and look after yourself properly of course people will be saying this kind of stuff on tiktok you know it's just it's absolutely ridiculous nowadays oh so i see you're just fat phobic and you know there's like so much wrong with this video itself you're trying to spread a message about hey uh i just want to find some acceptance you know i just want to find some love but whenever you're really fat whenever you're trying to spread a message about how eating a lot of junk when you have type 2 diabetes when you have high blood pressure when you have high cholesterol and you're eating literal shit of course People can be saying this kind of stuff to you, of course. But instead of like complaining and making a TikTok video about, hey, uh, I can eat what the hell I want. How about you better yourself and go to a gym, go for a walk, and just change your eating habit? Simple as that. Anytime a fat person is happy living, you don't want them to be. Whenever it comes to happiness itself, you can enjoy yourself. You can love yourself with the things you want. But when it comes to your health and stuff, of course there'll be restrictions, all right? There will be like things where you have to like restrict yourself on the things that you shouldn't be eating, all right? Like pizzas, like chips, like uh, burgers. Name anything you want, all right? At the end of the day, whenever you're fat or whenever you're actually like obese, you cannot enjoy yourself a burger because of where you're putting your health in the first place. You have to do something about it. You just have to, right? Yeah, well, guess what? I, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna eat my taco. Whenever it comes to stuff like this, whenever you're seeing a fat person eating a burger, eating chips and stuff like that, people are gonna say this to you. You shouldn't be eating that kind of stuff. And you go, hey, Emma, I don't give a shit. I can enjoy myself whatever the hell I want. And yeah, I agree, you can enjoy yourself, but when you're really fat, whenever you're obese and you're playing this victim mentality where you want to find acceptance, you want to find love because of the way you are. But honestly, the problem with this advice is that when you're fat, when you're obese, and when you have type 2 diabetes, there will be a lot of concerns for you right in the end, right? And whenever you say to yourself that doctors are fat phobic, this and that, there's so many things wrong with this video anyway, you know? People can be saying to themselves that doctors are fat phobic, um, uh, going to the gym is fat phobic, this and that. There's so many wrong with the fat acceptance, like literally. But when it comes to like taking care of yourself and looking after yourself, that's not a problem at all. What the problem here is that we're teaching people, we're teaching others that they're on TikTok that being fat is okay. There's nothing okay with having a heart attack, there's nothing okay having diabetes and high blood pressure. There's nothing okay with that. What's okay is that you should be like, just 
taking care of yourself, all right? There's nothing fat phobic, there's nothing racist about taking care of yourself. But the kind of thing I don't like to see in the world right now is just fat people just playing this victim mentality and saying to themselves that I am deserving of love and stuff. Yeah, you deserve love. But when you are fat and whenever you are actually putting your body for a lot of problems, that's not love at all. That's the opposite of love. That is the opposite of what you're doing to yourself. Instead of like just shoving your face with fast food and junk food how about you do me a favor let go of that stuff and just improve yourself just get better and just focus on healthy options you know but at the end of the day fat acceptance is a literal joke when it comes to stuff like this you know like seriously